As we all know by now, self-improvement has taken the internet by storm. There are so many self-improvement guides and philosophies and game plans, all in order to reignite the dying flame that is masculinity. But has this been taken too far? Is this actually to men's detriment and everyone is just too deep in the matrix to see? To explore this, we're going to be using case study Hamza. As you can see by his banner, the purpose of his content is to make our generation of young men strong. Let's see to what extent he fulfills this. As his channel began, the main points he would talk about is going to the gym, having a good diet, meditation, stop scrolling, etc. These are all good habits that have stood the test of time, but it started becoming a bit extreme when he would talk about nofap and the horrors of playing video games. The intentions are pure, but are they really helping men now that we have a generation of men circle jerking over their nofap streak, no pun intended, and seeing video games as this destructive bane to society? This is the problem with Hamza. He engages and enforces a lot of all or nothing thinking. All video games are bad. All vices are bad. You are either indulging or delaying gratification. Fuck me, like alcohol, smoking, what's the other... St Everyone's got some kind of vice these days, bro. It's just embarrassing. It's safe to assume this is impossible. And his idea of self-improvement is more of an ego trip and seeming better than others. Just like Tyler Durden from Fight Club said, Self-improvement is masturbation. A while back, his content would consist of 10 minute long videos with super catchy thumbnails and titles like free instant ways to start conversations with girls. I mean, it's quite hypocritical if his main tenet is dopamine detox. You expect guys to sever their addiction with the internet whilst luring those same weak guys into videos that target their highest insecurities. Sounds rather counterproductive if you ask me. He would even sprinkle in the occasional self-aware video of how his followers need to stop being addicted to his videos. And then tomorrow, bam, another four ways to escape the friend zone. Because everyone knows the most effective way to get someone to drop an addiction is to keep supplying them with it. It's safe to say he was generating and pumping the same prototype of a video, just like an automated machine. Whilst there has been a lot of improvement on that part, since he has changed to more long-form, hearty content, the core issue still stands. Now his videos exceed an hour to two hours talking about how to increase your dick size and foods that will destroy your testosterone levels. Are we seeing the pattern here? It's unnecessary and has an adverse effect on men's mental health. What is really happening is guys click on the video, watch it in its entirety, get serotonin from tricking their brain into thinking they've accomplished something, when really they've just sat through an hour long video on things they would hardly apply. A classic case of action faking and the illusion of progress. By the time you do try to apply them, an hour long video on another topic has already been posted, constantly moving your direction and focus on the next goalpost that will change your life, or the final piece of the puzzle to bring the perfect masculine man. And guess what? Another video. Full focus guide. How ironic. It never stops. You're down the self improvement rabbit hole. And are any of these things even self improvement worthy? How many teenagers are going to see these videos and start hyper-focusing their attention on the meticulous details that will increase their testosterone by 0.0001%? It's getting unnecessary. And this is how Hamza promotes a toxic version of self-improvement and masculinity, creating problems you didn't even know existed in the goose hunt for ideals brought about by other people's expectations of what it means to live a happy, fulfilling life. You can see how self-improvement evolved into a bombardment of concepts on his channel. Full money, discipline, willpower guide. Whatever happened to men going out and learning these lessons for themselves, like their fathers and fathers before them. Now it's neatly packaged into a video promising them that they can adopt the same virtues by cerebralizing and theorizing about it at the click of a button every week. This leads me on to my next point, which is the reformulation of masculinity. Hamza and lots of other gurus for that matter, repackage masculinity according to their lifestyle. There was a point where he said his purpose was to start fighting until he again realized that no, his purpose is to make videos and change people's lives. Is he really making the deep social imprint that he thinks he's making? Well, there's a multitude of comments boasting his impact on people's lives and even going to start their own YouTube videos to follow in Hamza's footsteps. And it's like watching the same video over and over again. There's no individuality or creativity anymore. Each person parroting the same talking points on how to live life, the same personality and thoughts. He has created replicas of himself, making the men he wants to make stronger just a homogenous mutiny of people with no real life experiences in what they're talking about. 
It's pretty much like the end of Fight Club, where everyone was basically the same person in the pursuit of an ideology. Stop improving because you are missing something. Improve because it makes life more enjoyable.